Good morning. Welcome to Waste Not Wednesday. We go live every Wednesday morning at 10 a.m. Mountain Time and we take junk, leftover scraps, nothing gets left behind and we turn it into home decor. <laughs> Literally nothing gets nothing left get behind. Less, nothing gets left behind or nothing is safe. I don't know. <laughs> that, that, I don't know. One, one of the two. This is old um, plywood that we pulled out of the attic from the church when we took the, uh, the faux ceiling down in the stage area. Um, and that's, that's what we're using today. <laughs> Literally from the faux ceiling. Like that's where we're at this morning. We are making some really great designs with it. We're just going to be playing. So we're going to be using cottage colors. We're going to be doing raised stencils, decoupage, paint inlays, and molds. So that's like a lot of we things. We got some paint frosting out. We got paint frosting going. Yeah. Lots of things going on. If you want to shop these products, they're all at jamierayvintage.com and Mariah is on here moderating. Um, I can see Carter is watching. Hi, Carter. <laughs> um, and she's going to be dropping links. So if you have questions and we miss them, she'll catch them and we're good to go. So let's get started. We've got one coat of vintage, not vintage, white linen. I'm so many from, colors so and many so many colors. brands. This is Cottage Colors White Linen. It has a built-in sealer and it's just on plywood. We went ahead and did it ahead of time. Aren't you proud? Yeah, we prepped. I am. Um, I am actually going to lay down some dark and decrepit and wipe it back on mine first. And then I'm going to then put an inlay on this. And Zeb is going to show you while I do that, Zeb's going to show you how to do a raised stencil. Did you grab a paper plate? Um, I don't have a paper plate, but I can get one quick. So we use the new paint frosting first time ever in the DIY gray skies. And um, it's supposed to take up to 12 hours. It literally thickened immediately. And I'm wondering if it's because this is a different formula than regular DIY. built-in sealer. <laughs> yeah, this has a built-in sealer. So if you want to add the thickening agent, you're going to need to be ready to use it. Just know that with the new Cottage Colors. So that's going to dump this out there. Like I said, Cottage Colors. And it got kind of chunky, which it got is chunky. fine. It will work great for a raised stencil. We're using the new, did you grab the stencil? Um, or is it, you it used it to cut somewhere. it out. Oh, you know what? It might it's be outside garage. still in the garage. Okay, I'm gonna go grab the stencil. It's the French wall It'll be over by panel. the miter saw on that table okay. by the front of the garage. Thank you, Mariah. I just dropped the link to paint frosting. Mariah, can you drop the link to the cottage color collection? All right, so. Like Jamie said, we're going to have to use this fast. It's getting thicker and thicker as we go. I think because it just needs like a dropper full for probably a pint of paint that we've got here. And Jamie used half of a cap. And this is what we're talking about here. Um, it takes so little. It says like 0.6% um, of total mix, <laughs> not exceeding 1%. Uh, I think we exceeded the 1%. Was it not in there? I have no idea. I didn't see it. It's clear. Here, come sit down over here and talk to him. I just showed him the paint frosting and I'll go get it because I know right where it's at. If okay. It's, if it's still in there. If it's still where you left it. I was using it as a template. <laughs> so I'm still dealing with the how's brain the, how's fog the mic today? from not eating gluten. <laughs> um, if it goes blurry, hop in and hop out. Sometimes the camera will do it, but it's clear on my end. So, okay. I'm going to use dark and decrepit. Now, this is not like regular DIY paint. This has a built-in sealer, so it's not going to absorb as much as DIY paint would. So keep that in mind. If you were doing this over just regular DIY paint, I'd lay down a coat of sealer first, like Big Top or whatever, because otherwise it's going to get really muddy really quickly. All right. There's this stencil. What's the name on this one again? That is the French wall panel. French wall panel. I can't, even if I wasn't on like non-gluten brain fog, I think uh, it would, I would not remember. We, I, I we had a huge stuff. release. The stencils had a huge release. We've got a bunch of new paint colors out. <laughs> Damp rag over here. We've got new, new-ish decoupage paper out. <laughs> Yeah, well, I named them so it helps. I literally, I have found an antique French wall panel and had the graphic designer replicate that. So this is just sitting down in the paint here and a little bit heavier on the edges because I did not get the white paint on the edges on purpose. 
So I uh, want it to be darker. I need tape. Found some. Are they saying if my mic is okay today? No Saturday night fiasco with the mics. Yeah, I think everything is fine here. Okay, so I measured this to be about an inch bigger than the stencil so that we can do a border with the IOD molds and the air dry clay and make it look like one of those old plaster type frames. Where's the sandpaper? That we're always looking here? for at the thrift store. Is the sandpaper on here? No, oh, right here. We I just got, want to we got something out. Um, Zeb's shirt is not available on the website. My manufacturer doesn't make them anymore. So we are huh. looking to get them again. We, my shirt, I break for junk, is on the website. It's thing, I think $26.95 with shipping. I guess I'll have I'm to gonna get, look for that. I guess I'll have to not tease you with this shirt anymore. Well, we both own that shirt, so we wear it at various times. I don't wear it very often. I'm not unless it's like a Star Wars shirt. I'm not super huge on saying shirts, but I feel like we might need to come out with a couple. We have a bunch. Alexa, off. Alexa, we don't need you to talk to us. <laughs> we we have a bunch of logo wear already on the website that we made, and it needs a it needs a solid update. Some of it's really cool, and some of it just needs to go away. All right, here's where my board's at now. And I'm going to go ahead, before I put this paint in, lay down, I'm going to use liquid patina. This is thickening up like plaster. I got to go. Yeah, you can get going. I got you your little spreader. That is the... The IOD blade, the big the one. The IOD blade. I keep forgetting. Thanks, Mariah. I dropped the link like, to my like, shirt. Uh, like Jamie said, we're using lots of products today. The reason this is going to work really well with this stencil is because they're thick. They're like 15 mil thickness industrial grade on these JRV stencils, every single one, whether it's big stencil, small stencil, we design them because we use them hundreds of times and we want you to be able to use them hundreds of times too before they have an issue. I'm just and gonna use they make great sheet. raised stencils because they're thick. I like this one. Okay, so, so these, I'm, hold, sorry. I was just gonna tell them, I'm using the blade to just kind of thin this out evenly. And then I'll pop this stencil off here in a sec before it all dries. I'm using the Chateau paint inlay and it's eight sheets, eight 12 by 16 sheets. It needs to go in paint or it needs to go in a sealer. The new Cottage Colors has a built-in sealer. And so it reacts a little differently to paint inlays. So I've had a really good response with just using um, liquid patina. So I'm going to lay down liquid patina, put my inlay in there. I smeared it all over the top of the stencil. I'll bring it up close so you guys can see once oh, I I'm going to have to use off. two to cover this. I guess I got to find the one that Before matches Before it dries, don't let it dry or you'll just have a big flat mess once it dries. And your stencil will be embedded onto the wood. Yeah, this is... We have saved all the wood from the church project. If you don't know what we're talking about, uh, we bought a... 130-year-old uh, church that we're turning into our retail store. And we've been in between everything else that we do, remodeling it. And <laughs> we are... It's about to get serious, though. It's about to be the main thing that we're Oh, there doing. we go. Yeah. Oh, ho, 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 yes. It is so good. Well, now you right. got to do that again. <laughs> so this... Oh, I'm going to need to mix up more paint. Okay. This is raised here as thick as I had that on there in some spots a little thicker. Um, but that's going to have a wonderful texture and, you know, we can work with that and do, I can, it looks like I got a little big over here, a little more than one inch. Oh, you know what? I know what I did. I was going from the exterior of the frame. So there we go. Oh man, this is really bright today. Let me turn this back. And if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm just trimming the inlay so that way it will line up perfectly. I don't know if you can see the rays on there. Let me. Oh, yeah, you can see how thick it is there. About a 16th to an eighth of an inch. Definitely noticeable, though. Um, That's fun. I, I got like that. a little paint over. I guess we're going over that. It's huh? okay. We'll add molds and paint. So. Okay, I'm going to set this one aside for a minute and do another one. You want to yeah, do can, another one the same way? Yeah, let's show them how we mix it up. So pour, where's your container? You can mix it up in that it's other right, one. It's right here. This one was empty, so I saved it. I always save my empty paint cans to mix up stuff. 
So we're going to add cottage colors in gray skies and 0.2% um, of the volume of paint, of paint frosting, and it gets thick quick. No waiting on this. 0.2%. I'm going to do the same ratio you did so that they match. <laughs> yeah. I did a half a lid. Okay. Careful. And then I added a bunch more paint. So I think I got more paint than you had to start with. Okay. That's good. I'm going to move this out the of the same way. the amount that was in there. Okay. So that's all the harder it is. You mix it. It's supposed to take up to 12 hours to fully thicken it. But like Jamie said, with this, it's already thick. It's already making my spoon or my fork hard to stir. It's making it work. Yeah. Okay. So I like, look at that. <laughs> I'm going to try not to talk over Zeb, but he just upped his thyroid medicine today. I'm a little chatty. <laughs> and this is going to be really fun. So the doctor, really quick, Hold I'll on, just I tell him. I need to tell him what I'm doing. Okay, tell him what talk. you're doing, then I'll go. Okay. <laughs> I'm using, it's like the roles have reversed. I'm using <laughs> DIY's liquid patina, and you have to get it down and put the inlay in quick. And I have to tell you this now, because once I get started, I'm not going to be talking. All right, go. Uh, the doctor didn't know exactly what dose would feel best for me, because, you know, they have no... Based off of levels, she kind of had an idea of how much the thyroid wasn't working. Oh, whoops. That's not going to work. Um, but so she started me out at like 90 milligrams. And then she's like, go up after two weeks. And then after three weeks, go up again and let me know which which one felt the best. So I'm on, the, I'm on week three and we just upped it and I can, I can feel it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very energetic. We'll say that. <laughs> like, I don't know. I'm going to keep up with you. All right. So I got to put some more patina down. Like, like right now, everything feels exciting. And I kind of want to laugh at a lot of stuff. He's so happy. <laughs> so happy. He's high on Synthroid. All right. Hope I line. Oh, I, I missed a, the edge a little. That's okay. Okay. I'm going to have to put this on perfect so that it doesn't smear the first time. The nice thing about the paint frosting is it's all natural. So you don't have to worry about like smells and crap. And you can mix it right in with the paint and it doesn't change the color. All right, I've got to line this up. Usually Zeb uses, does this, so. Oh, I need Because once you paint. put it down, you're committed because it touches that patina. All right, I think I got it. Oh, I forgot to grab the brayer. Okay. I'm going to cut off this extra so it doesn't get messed up. Because you, you can use these uh, multiple times and you can cut off what you don't use. When he's done with this, the next step is decoupage. Yes. Got we, so much going on. We have like a semi new paper. It looks really, I'll show you in a second once I'm done with this. It looks similar to one of our old papers because it was the original design. And somewhere in the design process, we decided to go with smaller floral on it. So this one has the original big floral and it's huge. It's like some of the flowers are bigger than my face. Zeb's off of gluten and the brain fog is real. <laughs> so he, he was supposed to order the correct paper and he ordered this he's like what are we going to do and i'm like it's a limited time only baby we're going to sell it Lim limited time only paper i'll show you when i'm done there are no mistakes only happy accidents yeah so you know once we don't have this once we run out we uh we're not getting more but it's really fun if you got a project that needs some big floral on it all right i'm going to set this aside now that i've brayered it to make sure there's good adhesion if you have a JRV retailer that you get your papers from, make sure you tell them you want the limited release paper um, so that way they can get some before it sells out. It's really close to the other black and white floral, and that's why we're not going to continue to carry it because I think there might be some We don't confusion. need to. <laughs> but since we ordered 1,000 of them, we are going to sell them because we need that money for the church. <laughs> I did just use the brayer. Sorry, guys. That's what this is. Jamie, you know Jamie wanted to title this video today using all the things. <laughs> we well, have, we have tons of product out here, different things, doing all kinds of techniques and different looks. I've been following a lot of the other IOD stockists and I'm like, they get to play and craft, but I don't have extra time. So if I want to play with this stuff, I have to do it on my live videos. So you guys get to come along with us. 
Um, Renee said, I never knew about gluten frog. Fog. I've had keto frog. It's the same thing because he's not eating gluten. He's not getting as many carbs. He's also not eating any processed sugar. So that kind of plays into that. I told him, I said, basically I'm using all natural organic honey from Utah to sweeten anything. It is like so my good. oatmeal. Oh, that's awesome. Do you want to set these out in I the got, sun or some schmears? Yeah, I'll go. I can, I can dry them while you decoupage. So this one got real thick. I think it's if we okay. sand it, it'll be all right. It'll be all right. Okay. So the decoupage paper that we've been talking about, let me show you how big these flowers are. The biggins. <laughs> the flowers on the bottom are about the same size as the other design, but the ones up top, I mean, look how big this guy is over here. They're big mamma jammas. Let me bring it close and see if it'll focus on the details. Jay, did we sell this shirt on our website? Mariah dropped the link a while back, but if she has a minute, she can drop the link to the shirt again. Um, again, if you guys do order decoupage paper from us, make sure you order two sheets because then you get free shipping. It winds up costing you the same whether you order one or two. We had to do that because when we were just shipping one piece, we were losing money. So we, you have to spend at least $10 to get the free shipping. And Sally Zeb's lost what, 12 pounds? 12 pounds in two weeks. 12 pounds in two weeks. I've lost two pounds. A lot of it's <laughs> probably just the diet, like cutting out carbs and sugar. But some of it is probably the simpler. I'm also not as committed as Zeb because I'm not, I don't have Hashimoto's. I just have a slightly underactive thyroid. So I do eat some gluten. I got to go get this plug out. Last night I was laying in bed and I'm like, Zeb, I really want a drumstick. And by drumstick, I mean an ice cream drumstick. And he's like, nope, don't do it. I'm like, fine. Here's the deal. If I don't have a lower weight on the scale in the morning, I'm eating myself a drumstick. And I got on the scale this morning. I was down a little bit. So I guess it was good that I didn't eat that. <laughs> uh, Deborah, we would love to sell JRD in England. If you have a retailer that you buy paint from, would you please send them to jrbwholesale.com? Mariah can drop the link because we have such a huge following in the UK that whoever sells it over there would make bank. And stencils and decoupage paper are probably one of the least expensive things to ship because they're oh, flat. we could uh, we could send hundreds of stencils and paper for the price of like a little bit of paint. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like poofy paint. That's what it looks like. Yeah. I'll show you guys up close. So the paint frosting. So yeah, if you are wanting to have your paint frosting set up super fast, use it in the cottage colors because it was like instantaneous. All right, what am I decoupaging? You told me to decoupage, but. Oh, that other board. Okay, we're working with glue now. All right, I need to go put this in the, I'm gonna have to hose that now. <laughs> Marlene says ice cream drumsticks are my downfall. Just throw it on the grass. I just put oh, it in the sink. It'll be okay. That. Um, I love ice cream drumsticks. If I have a cheat day, I will eat one. Okay, this is like mostly dry. I'm going to let it air dry a little. Actually, I guess I should show you. Okay, look how gorgeous this is. Can you guys see the texture on that? Let's see, show it to you from the side. That's with the paint frosting and gray skies in cottage color. Like legit, you could probably just leave this the way that it is, sand it a little and add some dark and decrepit, boom, good to go. But we, we're gonna take this next level and add some molds to the edge. I have no idea, people are always asking me, how much are you gonna charge for these? Depends on how awesome they turn out. And I also if have to calculate- If they end up looking like frames. Yeah, like, I have like to calculate want. how much I spend. All right, where did we go? Here we go. Um, the battery glue gun. I can text Mariah the link. The link and have is her... in yesterday's video. Yeah, let me grab that link for you, Cindy, and I will. I texted uh... it to you. So you, you can text it, it to me? Mariah and she can put it in. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um... All right. How do we want to do You want me to just do a corner up here like this? All right, I text Mariah. I texted you that link. Do you I want to throw that I in? I think the right here is just how we're going to do it. Whatever you want. Oh, no, don't say that. 
can't can't leave me unattended over here today. If you don't know what we're talking about, we just got a new glue gun that works with our Milwaukee battery system. It's not a Milwaukee product because they don't make one or we have it, but I absolutely love it. I used it on the video that we put up yesterday. So if you haven't seen that, it's on YouTube and Facebook. We take you with us to the Goodwill bins and show some really quick thrift flips. Or hopefully I say that right, thrift flips. Yep. We literally did the thrift flips in about an hour. It was super quick. All right, so this... Margie, you can get the DIY Cottage Colors paint in Canada. If you go to DIYpaint.co, you can find a retailer that carries them. So this is the liquid patina. Jamie used it on something. I don't know what. It was open and the brush I was I used wet. it to transfer the inlay. Oh, Jamie used it on the inlay. It's our favorite transfer gel medium. All right, we're committed to that because it's stuck. Another thing, if you guys are like getting rid of old furniture, a lot of times old furniture has plywood in it. Don't throw that away. Save that. We like actually, if you're just going to take it to the dump, break yeah. the furniture down. It, it's easier to get in the pickup or the trailer anyway. Thick plywood is so expensive to buy at the store right now. We saved a bunch from an old entertainment center that was left at the church that we're renovating. And Zeb's going to build with it. Our goal is to use um, as much reclaimed wood in all of our displays as possible. A, because we ain't got no extra money. And B, because it's, it's eco-friendly. Yes. And we need to get it out of the barn. Yep. The barn is where we've been saving all of our wood. It is right, so I satisfying. Do... I used to use poofy paint back in the day. It does kind of look like that. Huh? And that's literally what it is. Oh, go show them close. I already did. Go show them close again. It's like flattened out. Um, I'm going to cut this. <laughs> Seb wants me to show you again in case you missed it. The paint <laughs> frosting. I'm going to have to go work at the church by myself for a bit. Like, you know, just do what you need to do over here today. I'm, I'm going to be playing all day. I'm going to be by myself over there because I can't be around you. It's... <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to come help you. I got staples to get out of the floor. All right. I'm going to set these aside so they can dry. They're not dry all the way Zeb, so before you do anything to them, check them. So now I'm just using water to kind of rip this edge. And it might go over a little bit and not tear perfect, which is fine cuz We'll just sand the edges or paint them if they don't look good. Will there be a church playlist? Probably. There is we'll, already. We already have some on there's there. There's like, there's probably 15 videos, 10, 15. On the church? Yeah, because we've been doing them since. Oh, that's true. Since like January. I'm just drying this out. Oh, I was supposed to get it wet. Oh, well, I'll get it wet. There's like a couple tour videos, what it looked like before we got it. Um, all kinds of videos. Okay, I'm just using a damp cloth to get this wet again. We've used squirt bottles in the past, but I just feel like a damp cloth is the best way. You know what the feeling I'm having reminds me of is when I came off of anesthesia after my hernia surgery and I was like super chatty and couldn't stop, I'm, which is really rare for me. It's, it's basically sure probably is. what I would be like if I drank. I'm not sure the world is ready for that. <laughs> and I'm also, I'm not on that, but I... I have a bunch of um, supplements I'm taking and I'm about to get all my hormones leveled out. So it, we're going to be a whole new fun bag of tricks around here. It's going to be like watching a different channel. Is Zeb going to frame that piece? We're going to be putting a wreath mold on it. So I just dampened my paint inlay and now I'm going to pull it off and show you what it looks like in liquid patina. And I'm going to be careful because I want to be able to reuse this paint and lay again. It probably would have transferred even better if I would have got it wet the first time and let it dry. I oh, forgot wow. you're supposed to that do that. transfer is amazing. Yeah. That so one, be careful when you pull them off because you can use them multiple we, times. We used one a second time on the chairs we messed up. Yeah. 
those chairs. I, I, well, I messed it up a third time. I'm like, that's it. I got to reuse this one that we did already. We can't blow through this much uh, inlay. inlay. All right. So this is literal paint being laid down. So there's not a halo around it. It's not a sticker. I'm laying paint into the patina. And like I said, I was supposed to get it wet um, the first time and then get it wet again. I only got it wet once. So the transfer is a little bit chippy, but I like the I look. probably could cut this, but I'm going with the organic uh, tire torn look. I don't know why I couldn't tell you why I decided to do it like this. All right. So we'll do it upright. Ooh. Oh. oh. <laughs> All right, I'm going to dry this real quick, and I'm going to get started on adding my mold wreath to it. Okay. I did all that to make a backdrop. <laughs> all that situation. Looks like I got a little bit of bleed through from something that was on the plywood. That's okay. Worst case scenario, we dark wax this and move on with our lives. Yeah, you can reuse the inlay. Every time you use it, there's less paint that transfers. Um, the one that we used on the chairs, we had done it in liquid patina first and in paint second, and it was fine. Just lay them flat to dry and don't lay them face down to dry. Otherwise you will transfer face down onto whatever you put them on. Look at that big flower up top there. That's cool, huh? That it's like cool. it's bursting out of the hillside. All it. right, that is still drying guys, a little bit. I don't know if that's picking up on camera. I got a little bit of plywood bleed through here. I like it. Okay. Now what's the next step on this? Molds? Um, yeah. So I've got a plate. You want to go grab my paint bucket? Yeah. So we've been showing you all the paint techniques with the cottage colors. And yesterday I took cottage colors and I mixed salt wash in with it. Um, and I wanted to show you what the result of that was. And I did. I already sold this paint bucket, but um, mm. this is just cottage colors with salt wash and then cottage colors for the drip around the edge. And the texture is amazing, and it's stuck to the shiny metal, like, so good. Sandy, that is the decoupage paper. This is the limited edition one. And then this is the Chateau paint inlay. And this is uh, salt wash on a paint can. <laughs> I had to cover up this spot right here because my dad was like, I wanted to see if it was dry and he put his finger into it. Can you see the texture? Maybe get close and hit the screen. I don't think they could see the texture. Someone was using this for paint and plaster. It's all chunky with the salt wash. So the nice thing about it is it already has a built-in sealer. So I'm going to go back in later and I'm going to add dark That's wax so to it and wipe it back and really age this paint can. There we go. All right, this is still kind of drying. Focus for me. I'll dry this. I have a plate and a pencil so we can get started on the molds. We've just been having all kinds of fun over here. I've been working on learning how to crackle the cottage colors and I have a piece. I'll, if we have time, I'll show it to you. If not, I'll throw it on stories. I did it like three o'clock in the morning. I couldn't sleep and I was like, you know what? I think I'm gonna play with cottage color and learn how to crackle it. This is really cool. I think this would be good on ceiling tiles, but I'm not doing it at the church. That's too much. It's like 1600 feet of ceiling. Uh, Brendan, <laughs> to save your buffet with streaks, go back over that white wax with clear wax, rub it in and buff it while you're rubbing it in. And that should help pull back some of that white wax and soften those streaky lines. Okay. Thanks, so, Lori. She said it was a great can. What I, do you want I to make everybody the loves of? the paint can. What? What do you want to make the wreath out of? So I was thinking we have not used very much the rose mold. So okay. I wanted to do this is the this direction. This, this is one? right side up. Yeah. So I want to do roses down on the bottom and then go thinner wood stuff on the top. This is the rose mold. Yes. What is it called? I don't know. It doesn't have, have the name, name on it. It's before they were naming them, but it does. And they do name them. We just don't know. The it does name. have the micro rim. I don't know. It's something rose. Mariah will find if you it. just go to Iron Orchid Design Molds on the website, Mariah can link the whole collection. Oh, no, it's not Rosette. Rosette is a different one. Rosette is this one. 
But if you can go, we have a whole collection of all the Iron Orchid Designs molds and it's on there. This is the rosette. The purple mold holder, this is from the, the dollar store. <laughs> so, and I think they still make this size. I'm going to need a second one because I have so many molds. So big roses on the bottom. That's the old rose mold, I think. I don't know. Mariah's going to link all the molds. Question for there you. Roses. Are we going to paint these before we put them on here? No, put them on and then I might just use dark and decrepit and then do a white dry brush. But um, make sure this is the top. This is the top. Yeah, I'm just telling you because. This is the top. You know, I'm just telling you just because. This needs to dry some more. Don't you think that'd make a great ceiling tile? Uh, yeah. I think it'd make just about a great anything. Okay, cornstarch in your mold with your air dry clay. Because if you do not, it will fight you because the air dry clay is pretty moist, especially when you first open the package. And it'll release Heirloom it. roses. That's what it's called. Heirloom roses. Okay. Thank you, Sabine and Beth, for knowing more than we do. <laughs> In I our just, defense, we carry thousands of products. I just so. use them. I'm like, yeah, that one looks cool. Let's use that one. <laughs> I'm going to let this cool down, and then I will distress the edges. Let me grab, uh, did you do the plate? Or are you just making molds right now? I'm just mold making right now. Mold making. Okay, so. I always dump excess that, I need you to see if out. that looks centered. Yeah, sure, go for it. Okay. I mean, there's a ruler right over there. No, I'm not gonna use a ruler. The question is, are you gonna be able to see pencil on this black and white paper? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Unless you don't cover it, you will. All right, we've got a pencil mark. Okay, same thing we need to do. It says paint on it, it's bugging me. Where's the center <laughs> on this? Um, so and that then, needs to go this way a little more. Just eyeball it. Just little go up, up a little. little. I mean, you can only tell across the room, right? True. True. I'm gonna let this dry a little bit, but. Okay, we got circles. Do you want me to, you're gonna make the molds and I'll glue them on? We might both need to make molds. Okay. Because we need a lot of them. We need a lot of molds. Yep. Okay. So someone asked the other day, they said, my mold, where are the, uh, where are the measurements on the molds next to mold? Mine doesn't seem to have it. The older molds don't. It's yeah. something they've added to the newer line of molds. So if you've got some of the old versions, you're not going to have measurements for what's required next to it. But it's pretty easy to figure out. I just pour water in them and then measure that. And then you know how much resin you're going to need. Oh, we have two of these. Oh, that's a bigger one. That's different. Oh, that's the that's the heirloom. And this is roses. Oh, we have both of them. Let's do both. Yeah. I'll do the big ones. All right. I'm going to start making them and you put them where you want. Okay. I'm gonna make some of these big ones though, so that you're gonna you have to make put like those the, on the very bottom and have it so weighted fast. correctly. Oh. Are the pin, paint inlays free shipping? Yes, they are. All iron orchid designs, all JRV stencils, all milk paint, all brushes, um, free shipping. The only thing that isn't free shipping that are actual supplies is the DIY products because that's a company um, guideline. Like I'm not allowed to. Yeah, from DIY. DIY paint has. So I need another one because I'm going to do two. On it. I need to do two back to back. So if you can make another one identical to this one next. Wait, wait. Huh? I'm going to do some of these big ones oh, for the bottom. Okay. Well, I can't glue it then. Yeah. Yeah. You got to you got to time out for a second. Talk to them about something fun. What's going on with your day? Um, what's going on with my day? <laughs> I'm here crafting with you. Tell them what we're going to do with the walls in the church where we're taking the plaster down. The German schmear. Yes, but we're gonna German schmear them. We're leaving some of it exposed. I think we're gonna do a jagged edge versus a straight edge on the top. Yeah, we're doing exposed brick on the back half because it's already exposed, um, and we would not open for uh, probably six months if we were gonna make the inside of the church perfect. Oh, so our plan so is to work. patch up the floor, sand it, throw down some sealer as good as we can, and then we're gonna paint all the walls white. 
however they are, chippy, not chippy, exposed brick, smeared brick, and we're going from there. Because I like the look. I don't want to hide the age. Um, originally, I thought I would make it perfect, and I'm like, that's really not me. And we've got one month. We've got to get displays built and get in this place in one month because we are planning on moving into the church in July. And our grand opening is going to be, and this oh, is the first time you, you put an official date. I'm on putting it? an official date on it because I need to start getting put it people. in your calendars. If you want to show up, we got a lot of fun people coming to September celebrate with us. Sep the weekend of September 16th and 17th. It'll be a fun event. So it'll be probably like a Friday, Saturday, not Sunday. Cause that is um, the day we don't work. And we might be doing some things Thursday, but Friday, Saturday, grand opening weekend at the church Check on the 16th out. and 17th of September. Come on, camera, focus for me. Right. Oh, that's nice. Does it have leaves on it too? Or is it just? It came with the leaves. No, that's just. I mean, it might be part of the blossom. Holy moly, that's a. We'll big make sure block. to give you guys a good focused close up. I think I'm just going to use one of these. Yeah, that's fine. And then I'm going to do a couple <laughs> of these here. So when you're creating, keep track of how much product you're using. Like I used one and a half sheets of inlay. How many packs of paper clay am I using? How much paint? So that way you can make sure that you're getting paid for not just your time, but your product. A lot of times crafters forget to add that in. And the better you get at something, the longer you do it, the more you should be able to charge for your time. Because they're paying not just for the product, but your expertise and knowledge and how to create. The next member live, Joy, is going to be next Tuesday at, uh, is it 10 a.m. that we do? Um, yeah. Yeah, 10 a.m. next Tuesday, Joy. So if you are a channel member or a subscriber on Facebook, you get extra content. And if you're on Facebook, you're in the JRV subscribers group. You can find the old lives just by scrolling through um, posts. And then also you can find the printables that way. And then if you're on YouTube and you're a um, channel member, then you just need to go to community and scroll back because there are certain posts that only paid channel members can see. And that's where we link the live videos. Somehow I got a scrap of decoupage paper in there, but it molded, so we're good. It's fine. I need another one of these. <laughs> another one of those? Yeah. Coming up. Actually, no, I'm good. I'm gonna I'm going to go rogue. So I need to start having smaller things going I'm going to do way. this one. It's similar to this one. No, I don't think but so. But it's not the right. same. Don't do that. No, do that one. Do me a couple of those. Oh, a couple of little and stems. That one, I have these bigger one. stems. Do you want one of these? Uh, I don't know. What do you think? For the bottom? Because we're going to be heavy on the... I'm going to need a few to come off this way. And then I've got a... I think we'll just do like a border around the top. Not like super fat all the way up. Because I don't want to hide the inlay. So maybe this rose border here okay. or, yeah. All right. Where's the new? Uh oh, I forgot to. Uh... Where's the new mold? Oh, we got it out. I forgot to air dry or uh, Paper starch clay? that one. It's the new molds. What are you wanting on that? Hmm. Where's the? Which one are you after? There's some underneath there in that box. I know, I'm looking in the box. Struggle is real. We, I, was, I was having this complaint earlier. We have way the too crest many crafting mold. I don't supplies. know where the crust mold went. Oh, that might be in with the stuff here. I don't think so. It's fine. I got enough molds. Is it over? No. Olive Crest, that's the mold I was looking for. Thanks, Patricia. She said she just found us. Awesome. Well, um, welcome. Welcome to the parties. We do live streams twice a week and lots of edited content if you don't like the long live streams. All right. I'm using construction adhesive. You can use uh, Type Bond 2. You could use Eileen's Tacky Glue as Debbie's like favorite adhesive. I just think that's because she's been crafting with it so many years. That's just what she uses. We like the construction adhesive because we can use quite a bit of it. It sticks to just about anything and sets up pretty quickly. But if you don't need this much, I think they carry them in a smaller tube. All right. Where do you, do you need some more smaller roses as we start to go up? What? 
I guess if I, you No, don't... I don't need any more after this. I need to do a... Oh, you want some of the scrolly rose stuff? So I actually, I don't. I think maybe this one, the one that looks like a vine. I don't want a the straight edge. Vine. Okay. All right. This is trimmings too? Um, sure. sure. It's trimmings something. We'll leave it to Mariah to investigate and figure out what this one's called. For these long ones, I'm going to do a little snake. I'm just trying to figure out where. And these I... are pretty big molds. I've used about half a pack so far. Probably to do a whole wreath like this, you'll use a pack of uh, the air dry clay. Um, you can use decoupage on canvas as well. Yep. We've done it. Um, Works we've... really well on fabric. We've done the whole back of a chair. Yeah. We also did decoupage like over an existing picture. It's in our bathroom. We use the angel yep. decoupage. We did it over a canvas picture from the thrift store that we that was not. It was not great. It wasn't precious. We'll say that it was like old hotel art that wasn't good. And we did one of our and that's that lives in our bathroom. It's been there since we had the paper. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna do this one. How did antique shopping in the UK compare to France? The prices were less expensive. It was different though, because France, we were not in charge of the trip, right? We, we had a tour guide, we had other people with us. Like had it been us in France, we probably would have shopped more and uh, sightseeing less. Sight seen less. <laughs> so I can't really give it, we're gonna hopefully go to France the next time. And so I'll let you know. And we're gonna go to Provence because we weren't necessarily where the best pricing is. Yeah, we were up north. We were up north. Um, but I loved me a boot sale in England, but I know there's good deals to be had. In fact, I do get certain things. I have linens coming and more French canning jars coming from the UK, um, that are French items, but I found a, a source while I was there. And so she finds stuff she knows I will like and sends it to me. So that's, that's a good setup. All right. So I'm going to pull this down this way and put that, shove that underneath this rose. And then I'll do the same thing. I need like two more of these and then I'll put something on top. I don't know what. Okay. Do you need something to keep this from being like a straight edge there? Like something to go. Yeah. I'm going to push that under. Oh, okay. But I got to put glue on it first. I'm going to push it under it because you don't want to see that. If you want to make molds ahead while you're watching TV, you can do that and pop them in the freezer until you're ready to use them on a cookie sheet and then let them get to room temp. And then you can craft with them. Okay. All right. That snake was way too big. <laughs> it was a fat snake. It, had a, it just ate a big mouse. Okay. This one's popping off because I've got to put this one down. This is very tricky. Now I'm just going to throw that back over the top and see, there we go. Does that be like it? Yeah. You're a little crooked. I'm there. not done with that. Yet. Okay, good. I'm not staying in my lane. All right. We're getting there. Actually, you know what? I just need one more and then we can put something in the middle. Right in the middle. And then we'll be do done. Do you want to do the middle first? Um, so that no. it lines up. I'll just, I bought, I'm going to have to pull off this rose here and I'll put it the same like start at the same point and then I'll put something in the middle. Um, right. Oh, Joy's going to be using her queen of the Nile on canvas. We haven't used that one yet. Okay. And what do you want for the middle? Um, so we've got um, another one of these. We've got this one that's very rounded. I was oh, you're thinking gonna go... I'm going to use another mold. Where's what about this like this crown? This one. Oh, the seashell? Think? I think the crown is cooler than the seashell. But oh, is that too fancy? But I like the scrolly. All right. We'll do it. I'm surprised you usually don't go with the seashells. Well, that's like a scrolly seashell. I actually saw somebody else use it, and I was like, I need to amend my ways. I need to. Because it's on so many French things, and I love French stuff. So I could be wrong. You know, it is possible. No. Yes, it happens. I don't believe you. I'm actually wrong a lot. Okay, I'm going to pull this off. <laughs> Hopefully it hasn't dried too much. It's Oh, it's already starting to set up. Shoot. 
Okay, let's pull that back. Maybe place all your molds first before you start gluing them, people. But in my case, you know, I'm not a planner. Okay, it's about right. Does that look about right, Zim? Let me move this up a little. How big is that? Well, it, you know, if it's not right, we'll center it on the rows and we'll add more stuff over the top. I don't think you can really mess it up. I mean, you're just playing, right? If it could be messed up, I'm pretty sure I could figure it out. Okay, we're going to lay okay, this one that, back down. The shell is good. I think that's going to work really well up top there. You guys ready for the grand reveal? Show you here I'm in a minute. I'm going to pull this in a little bit so that way I... How much time do we have? 11 minutes? You got to dark and decrepit that and dry brush it? I feel like we need... What else do we have? We, Let's we, do... Can you do me two of those little flowers? The little... Oh, yeah. Because I'm going to put them right here and right here and then put the shell over the top. And then we'll show you this and maybe work on one of the inlays because the decoupage one, we're going to do a similar thing to. So we'll see what happens. Those are very, uh, they, these flowers feel like very Mediterranean or, or islandy. Is that a word, islandy? Islandy. Islandish. Just trying to decide. No, I want them on top. Okay. All right. You guys ready for your close-up? I can sense it. You're dying over there for the close-up. Oh, you can see it pretty good on camera though. Looks like you can see it. I'm shaking together. because I'm having to squeeze. Yeah, it gets, it's got a little plug in there. I couldn't get the boogie all the way out. The glue boogie. The glue boogie. Do we want, do we have time to go around one of these? Yeah, I wanted to go around the edge on one of those. I think we I mean, do. I guess we could go a little longer. Yeah. Mariah might have to bail. I don't know. Mariah was coming like. over here afterwards because we're going to do wholesale stuff. Oh. So. And you, the only thing. So we... she's got as much time as she needs. Well, I don't know about that. I'm sure she has a life. She got things to do. Man. <laughs> All right. So I'm just covering up. There's like a little gap here. So I'm just covering Looks up. Looks like she lost flowers. Carter. I can't see Carter there anymore. No, Carter's not there. In case you're there. wondering, we have a little picture of Mariah on the feed. Oh, he's there in the corner. Hi, Carter. He's, he's still us. around. All right. I have glue all over my fingers. I should probably wear gloves. Speaking of gloves, next time we go to the Goodwill bins, I will be wearing gloves. <laughs> I'm going to like uh, wear gloves up to my elbows. All right. What should I do? I need something that's wide that can go around. All right. I got to show them this up close. What if I just do these oak leaves like over and over and over and kind of Seb, stack can them? You, can you fix this so that way, does it look even to you? No. You're, you're better. I need you it to fix that even. before it dries. You went, you went too high up here in the corner. I don't know that I can fix this. Just fix it. It's stuck. Unstuck it. I mean, it's close. If you, you arched a little more up on this one than you did on the other one. I'm having to mush these leaves a little bit. It's fine. It'll be fine. I'm going to decrepit them anyways. I mean, it's it looks very uh, organic. Uh, well, part of the problem is your shell's crooked. <laughs> Mariah, JRV is my life. She does do a lot is of things. Is it straight for now? Us. I think it looks good. Oh, you know what it is that's throwing you off? It starts lower over here than it does over there, and you went you ended higher here. Let's see if we can scooch this down just a hair. Uh, you you should be able to scoot. You should be able to scooch it because we're messing it up. You're trying up. to scooch up or down. It looks level to me. Oh, this got thin because you mushed it. Well, I'm just so thin, that's what's that. throwing your eye off. There, I mushed that. Look, it's great. It's great. Just show them. No, I want it to be good. I gotta sell it. It is good. Look at it from far away. Oh yeah, that's good. It's fine. It's good. It's good. There we go. Here, I'll hold it at a little bit of an angle so they can't tell. <laughs> Are the Goodwill bins really dirty? No, but Zeb did stick his hand in there. And uh, there was a wet teddy bear. Yeah, we don't know why it was wet. I didn't. Uh, I didn't have my camera out when his reaction. I would have loved that. So this is not done. Obviously, these are going to get a dark and decrepit wash. Dark and decrepit them. I know. I've got to dry them a little. Yeah, seven minutes. Make sure they're down. Make sure they're down on my board. Yeah, Zeb has a better eye. I've got to get a crust on him. Rashonda says it looks so good. Tracy says looks fabulous. 
thank, thank you. you thank you really the only thing that was gross was that wet teddy bear we did disinfect everything and ourselves afterwards So how much clay did we use on this? I was yeah, that's not quite dry. Uh, I told you. Um, we yeah, used yeah. about two thirds of. Uh, Just give me edges. I am. We used about two thirds of the paper clay. I'm okay. gonna do this. You mean what? This is trimmings three. Oh, you're gonna frame it? Yeah, with this Ooh, big one. That's gonna be good. And I might do something in the corners. I don't know yet. I like it. If you're just tuning in. We used the French wall panel stencil, um, cottage color mixed with paint frosting, and we did a raised stencil. So yeah, two thirds of a bag of uh, the air dry clay. So I would say if you're doing a wreath like this, depending on how thick you're gonna get, plan on about a bag of clay if you're ordering. So that way you make sure you have enough. And I think these kinds of projects are perfect for leftover paint inlays. I wouldn't buy an entire paint inlay just to make one board. But if you're using it on furniture or whatever, or you're going to do a bunch of boards, then you could split it or up. Or it's your second done. time around. Yeah. And you don't care if it's a little faded. Yeah, if you've already used it on a dresser, use it as a background the second time around. If you let your paint, your clay dry, you'll get more cracks in it than if you do put paint over. At least that's been my experience. So I just like to, to get a little bit of a crust. And then I'm going to do dark and decrepit and wipe it back, dry it again. And then I might not do this on the live because I want it to be all the way dry, but I'll probably do a white dry brush to bring out the details because the dark and decrepit the will go in the here? cracks. Like in the corners, oh, something different. Um, what do we got that goes in the corners? What do we got? What do we got? Um, oh, that's why I want olive crest. Where the heck did that mold go? I don't know. Go look. I'll keep making these. Okay. Yeah, the bins. The bins were fun. Um, primarily, uh, you know, if you watch the videos, you'll see what they look like. Um, if we were if we were going for like the vintage clothing, sell it on eBay vibe, I, I would have been there all day and waited for them to just bring carts out because they they I did see people finding like really cool logo wear like old Nike stuff. Um, I found a vintage. Oh, there it is. I found a vintage wool coat that yeah, I'm gonna Jamie sell. Yeah, Jamie got a wool coat that's really nice. It's I'm like gonna take it to the lined. cleaners. All right. I have for you olive crest. So you could put oh. that in the corner um, or that in the corner. I like that. I'll do that. Okay. So this is olive crest. This is one of the new IOD molds. Okay. So I'll make a couple of those. We'll at least try to. We got I might go over. We might days. go a little over today just so I can show you what this framed out is going to look like. All we did was a raised stencil on a piece of plywood. Um, and it's going to look like gallery art with a frame, plaster frame. Price wise, <laughs> if you buy a stencil long term, something like you're going to spend less on this than you would on this because this inlay you can't use as many times. But I mean, it depends on how many times you're going to replicate something. But that look is really but good. This like, look, that's like hand painted look, it, and you didn't have to hand paint it. It looks like old vintage wallpaper, which is like my favorite thing. Okay. So one is not better than the other. They're both equally amazing. I'm going to now use liquid patina, but I want to have a washcloth ready to go. When you're working with liquid patina or wax, I suggest doing a small section at a time and see how you like it. Wipe it back. Don't let it sit because the longer you let it sit, the harder it is to wipe back. All right, here goes nothing. It's going to be kind of dark and then I will come back with a white dry brush. What I'm really trying to do is get it off of the 
Oh, I got to be careful because the paint and lay is paint. <laughs> so I don't want to smear it. Oh, I would okay. put that on dry too. Well, that's, okay. that's going to look like something. It's going to be look like something amazing. What are you trying to say? It's going to look like something. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen you save a lot of oh, things. Oh, so it's you have be little great. faith. You could also just use like watered down uh, Thomas. brown, like the layered chocolate. You could water that down and use it too. I'm just using this because I happen to have it out. This will seal up the clay as well, just in case you're wondering. I have to be delicate because it's not all the way dry and I don't want to lose all my images. Okay, where's, can you pass me that glue, please? I'm busy. Sorry. Oh, you glued the handle. How did that happen? Um, it was on my hand. How did that happen? You know how that happened. I had glue on my hand and then I touched the handle. <laughs> All right, this is going to go over the edge just a hair because that's the way it rolls. That's the way she rolls. And then this is going to become my knife. Oh no, it's all gross and brown. Don't worry. It's going to get better. I'm just trying to get it down. All I believe cracks. in you. You believe in me? Mm -hmm. It's because I've done many projects with you. The new people following us, though, they might not believe me. They might not know that I'm going to be able to pull this around. Don't worry about it. All right. You can do anything if you go slow. That's from Is that Bobby. the rules? Yes. <laughs> That's what Bobby says. Debbie's Bobby. I had a dream last night that they um, that they got married. Shh, don't tell Bobby. I know. Or Debbie. It was really weird. I have a lot of dreams. They don't come true, so it's not like I'm not getting premonitions. All right. Now, this Trimmings 3 is awesome because it lines up. It's got like a little arch that lines it up, so it just magically locks into itself again if you were doing this and you want to do it the right way i would you should seal your inlay so just like take a squirt bottle with half a top half water spray it to set the inlay because i'm trying to work very hard not to smear my inlay because i did not set it because i don't know why because i like to not do things correctly on live tv does Debbie have a Facebook page? Yes, Debbie's Design Diary on Facebook. She puts her videos on YouTube though. Facebook is mostly just her live. So we put all of our current videos on Facebook and YouTube and she only does lives on Facebook primarily right now. So if you wanna see her edited content, gotta to go to YouTube to find that. YouTube hasn't been showing us the love and Facebook has like, we have a video from last week that has I think 200,000 views on Facebook, 10,000 on YouTube. Yep. So, you know, we go where, which social media is showing us the love. We're still putting on YouTube. We're putting everything on there. But if you want to see our videos on YouTube, you have to go search for them because they're not recommending them. Yep. They're all there. They're all there. I'm living on the crafty edge. I'm living on some edge. If I had a smaller, I need to get, we carry Dion's brushes, the little artist brushes, and they really work well for projects like this. I just have not grabbed Those any from the shop. Out. Yeah, we have done many projects with them, so. I had to stand up to get an aerial view of this. I can line it up right. I think I'm going to lift that, drop that under there. There we go. It's fine. Sorry. It's okay. I'm My good elbow's at, in your face. I'm good at dodging. I, I have a limited amount of time to wipe this off before it dries. Okay. I'm going to show you where we're at right now. So it's kind of poopy, but it'll get better. Oops. Because I'm going to put paint over the top and bring out all the detail. So I'm not going to do the paint right now because I really want this to dry. Oh, you should. Okay. It's only 11.03. It's only 11.03. Okay, fine. Fine. 
All right, so I had to cut this edge just a hair off over here. Oh, we've now been on an hour because it just shrunk again. Okay, imagine that painted up looking cool with the raised stencil in there. Little gap right there. Um, and then these corners are working out real nice. I'm going to do another one while Jamie does hers and see if we can get it to go up. I'm still on the first bag of uh, the air dry clay. Oh, that's not bad. I like the corners like that. Yeah, they're coming out good. Yeah. I think we should just paint that white, let it dry, the and then thing. do golden ticket or copper patina over it and make it look like a metal frame. That won't happen on this live because there's only so long you can stay live, and then we got to get to the rest of the world. I got to get to work. I can only play with you guys and hang out for so long, and then I got to go do demolition and rebuild the church. Actually, demo's done. Might have to do like a couple little things in the kitchen. We should do a crafty uh, marathon. Crafty marathon all day long. I think I lose my voice. The last time we went really long on a waste not Wednesday, or maybe it was a Thursday. We, we went like an hour it. and forty-five minutes or something. It's like our longest live stream ever. Yeah, it, it got a little touch and go. Plus, there. it's hard to keep your energy up that long. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm not that exciting that long. Okay. I'm just trying to pull out some of the dark and decrepit. By the end of it, I'm going to be all. And here's what we did with this one. Clear dry eyes. Get my Eeyore on. I really want it to be dry because I do not want to blend dark and decrepit with my white paint. I want to dry brush it. Once I seal the inlay, I might do a wash over this. We'll see. There's so much dark and decrepit down in these details. It's taking forever to dry. I'm going to pull it out. If you do use a heat gun, make sure that you're uh, moving it a lot because you will bubble the top coat because dark and decrepit has a top coat built in oh you're really close there am i too close i don't know you might get better uh, coverage if you back up a little bit i want it to dry okay i think i got, got dark it. and decrepit oh thank you in the middle that's a good eye Oh, it dried, so it's okay. That just looks like part of the design. There we go. It's good. All right. All right. Now I am officially done with that bag. That's where we're at. So one bag of air dry clay, I believe it's 14 ounces, did... Three of these, three corners, and Jamie's whole wreath. Oh, and that's going to be enough to go up to the top. Yes. These are probably, I'm just estimating, going to be in the $69.95 to $89.95 range by the time we're done. Because <laughs> I got to paint the edges. We got to put hanging hardware on the back. It'll take me a minute. Then I'm going to use gold on it. They're going to be good. Okay. I got to make sure this is really dry. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. You guys can use whatever you want to cut. The scissors were just on the table. Or tear it. It tears pretty easy, too. All right. Mostly dry. Okay, so I'm coming back in. I know I say all right a lot. I also use the word like a lot, and I'm going to try to not say it as much. What, you're, not, you're not 13 anymore? No. I sound like a valley girl sometimes. Come back with uh, white linen. And I'm wiping it off on my uh, drop cloth because I don't want it to be like super heavy. What I might do when this is like all the way dry is come back with dark wax around the edge. Just to kind of finish it off. All right, it'll probably take about another half a bag to finish this. So bag and a half to do these two projects complete. But they're pretty big and like doing a whole frame like this takes a bit. All right, now we got, now you can see that on that corner. It's going to be cool. It's kind of not straight down here, huh? I'm going to come, I'm going to add some of this white dry brush over the top of the back of the board so it's, tying the brighter white in with the overall look. And I will probably come back with another wash or maybe a wax to make it so that way all the clay is covered. If you haven't done a dry brush before, just go as light as you possibly can. You can always go heavier, but if you have too much paint on your brush, you can't you can't undo the dry brush. Well, you can. You got to sand it and start over, and ain't nobody got time for that. I always like to highlight the edges with it too. Oh, that's looking good. So if you don't want to use the dark and decrepit, you probably could also use dark wax. Just know that you need your molds to be dry. Yeah, they'd have that. to be all the way dry. So you could paint them first, let them dry, and then come back with dark wax. Um, you could also use layered chocolate. I'll bring this up close. Um, layered chocolate and then water it down like a wash. So here's where we're at thus far with this piece. I think it's turned out really good. Like I said, I'm going to let it dry all the way. And then I'll come back with either artist brush or dark wax and then maybe some more dry brush. But I think our wreath art has turned out pretty well. I will also make sure to paint the edges so they're not raw. And then we'll put hanging hardware on the back so that way somebody can just hang this up on a wall. Okay. So watch all the socials. We'll post completed pictures of these so you guys can see the finished project. I mean, most mostly we're here to just give you ideas so you can go complete your own projects. Um, but they will get done and we'll get them up on the website if you're interested in them. Yep, we'll probably have them up in the next couple of days. Visit jamierayvintage.com for the paint and products. Um, also, if you checked out Thrift Haul um, on there, you'll see a lot of our, there are some thrift flips that haven't sold yet, like yesterday's pink wall pocket, I think is still available. Um, and you can buy some of our handmade items there. And uh, we're going to try not to say to subscribe. So pretend I didn't say that, but uh, <laughs> do all the things, hit all the buttons and send this video to your friends if they like these kinds of things. And we will see you on the next video. All right. Catch you guys later. Love you guys. Have, have a great Wednesday. Have an amazing day. Go get all your projects done. And uh, if you're just hanging out, go craft. Craft some things.